five signs showing that evil eyes is on you. How to destroy evil eyes and destroy negativity, disappointment, failure, and backwardness. If you see these five signs in your life, just know that evil spell has been casted against you. Evil eyes is on you and evil people is after your life. By God's grace, in today's video, I want to continue the video I shared last time about signs showing that evil eyes is on you. Somebody has casted evil spell on you or there is evil people that is after your life. Because when you can diagnose your problem, the solution becomes easy. So if only you follow me to the end of today's video, I will do justice to give you another five signs and what we do to come out of it. And by God's grace, you continue living a victorious life. But before then, please give this video a thumbs up and help YouTube algorithm shift it to other people that need it as you do so. May God bless you. So welcome once again to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I'll discuss three important variables which are surely health, safety and spirituality. Believe me, if you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life, the sky will not be your limit it becomes your starting point if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you're highly welcome please do where to hit the right subscribe button and the bell notification so that youtube will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers i love you so much thank you for always stopping by for my new timers if you're searching for a new video all you need to do is go to the side button in youtube type jenny action tv slide the keyword of the video you're looking for for example evil you get the videos that are made, made about evil one word the other you watch and get some value so without actually wasting your time let's delve into the video of today number Number one is this once you notice sudden backwardness in your life you are doing well before everywhere you go you find favor your business is doing well people love you and suddenly you start experiencing sudden backwardness sudden hatred sudden rejection sudden disappointment sudden failure at the age of breakthrough anything you lay hand to do no longer prosper as usual my dear evil eyes is on you you need to do cleansing immediately get my cleansing video on using Scent leaf, I will attach it here, bitter leaf, lime, and salt, and do it immediately. And then declaring that you are blinding every evil eye. Then after you have done it, go and get kitchen salt like this. Go outside your home in the evening around it. Put it just in the tip of your finger. Let it not touch your palm. So touching palm is not good. There is a kind of energy flowing in this particular palm. There is chakras there that we connect even to your fourth generation that the battles you thought you have ended will resume again in your life. For example, the causes that you have that have broken out of your life will start working again. So don't allow it to touch. And then you do like this. One, two, three, four. In other words, you are saying that, that you are removing every form of evil eye, disappointment, failure that is in your life from east to west, north and south. Then you throw it backwards. That is, you go out outside where you are seeing sky, face as if you want to enter back your house and do this. You do it four good times. So when you throw it, you pour another salt, do like that and throw. Do it the third time and the fourth time, then enter your house without looking back. By God's grace, this work like magic. There is a day I wake up here, I see something enter my ear sharply and was giving me serious uncomfort from morning till night. Till the next day, I pray though. At the time, I say, God, is it that you are opening my ear widely? This thing was giving me discomfort because God will not give you discomfort when he wants to use you or speak to you. And then the next day, it dawned on me to just do this with salt. I did it in the evening like this. Just that in the morning, I didn't even do my own in the evening. I wake up in the morning, a voice, because that is one grace I have. Once I have issue, a voice will speak to me. Well, this is what we do. I just went out and do it in the morning. That was the end of it. The thing did like some fear. I see something jump out of my ear. That was it. I become perfectly okay again. So you go and do this and by God's grace, whatever evil eye that is on you will be removed. Again, you, see, you begin to see certain items. You are sure you are not the one that keep it. For example, you come out to see pin. Pin is arrow. Since some places, passage in front of your home where you know you are not the one that keep it. Pieces of broomstick. You see something like a um, stain of blood and other a kind of suspicious items. You are sure you are not the one that keep it. Or probably somebody come and be cheating continuously in your pathway. Please, all you need to do, if that thing is combustible, like something like broomstick can easily burn, something like shit can easily burn, go and get 11 pieces of clove. Declare that whatever road are sending against you, that you are sending it back to the sender. And then add it paper. That this is how that person 
a kind of put us will be papering until the person come and confess what he or she is up to. That whoever that drop it, this is how this person will feel paperish in the hand until the person come and confess and so on and so forth. Then ask salt and say that the only way this person will be free if he, have, he or she have not eaten salt. But so long as I have eaten salt, he will not be free. And then you set it ablaze by God's grace. Whosoever is after your life will come out and confess. Then, but if it is something like sharp object, pin and nail or certain things you cannot easily burn, just use cassava stick and pray that whatever intention that this person has that you are sending back to the sender use it to don't use your hand to pick it and they push it away very far from along your way and then get salt and sprinkle at the four edges of that place declare that whatsoever that is intention that this person has that you are neutralizing it that the same way you are pushing this out you are sending it back to the sender and by god's grace whatever intention that the person has we go back to the person even if it is blood stain add cloves paper and the salt and burn that particular blood stain whosoever that did it we come out and confess by god's grace otherwise we'll hear another news number two is sudden financial crisis you are doing well before all of a sudden maybe as a business person anything you are doing and they ends up in disappointment ends up in financial crisis you do go for business you will always meet bad luck you go to say you are not selling again something is the cost it is not ordinary once you begin to experience consistent financial loss you have evil eye on you one of the best way to actually get rid of that is one learn to be a giver start giving our people declare that you are giving away these losses you are giving away this disappointment you are giving away failure that is one number two is this you need to get lemon and use it to do cleansing how do you use it to do cleansing you cut it cut it into four represent its western as and squeeze it in your bed water so when you have done that you add salt then add four cubes of sugar that's you add just a spoon of salt whether kitchen salt sea salt and then if you have countable seven pieces of a countable and then you put your right middle finger to pray against wherever these losses are coming from that today that you are ending it then you now use each of these four lemon you have cut out and use it as your sponge to begin to bet the claim that you are batting out whatsoever that is behind this particular financial losses you do these three good days in other words you need three lemon and then on the fourth day you need to get this lemon again the fourth one cut it into do spray some cinnamon powder on in the front and then use it to cleanse this your 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 palm declare that from today whatsoever is removing finances from this hand is ceased from today that from today that this hand will begin to attract lots of money and the money will stay that everything that is causing financial crisis causing promise and fail failure at the age of breakthrough loss of contract loss of sales unusual loss of finances ends today by god's grace on on that fourth day you call on that third day you finish that button and do that particular a kind of a walk in your palm a kind of a squeezing your palm you know as we are doing it as we have rubbed that cinnamon powder make sure that there is enough a kind of water you are squeezing it out and using it to wash that hand after that allow it to dry in your hands by god's grace you will stop losing money you begin to attract money again is if you see yourself constantly eating in the dream somebody is actually after your destiny somebody is poisoning you somebody is draining every good thing that is coming to you because that is the meaning of eating in the dream that is an evil spell after your life you need to do cleansing get my video on how to end eating in the dream above all get lemon when you get at least two lemon like this you cut it into two two stick four four cloves inside it meaning east west north and south put it at the four edges of under your bed if your bed doesn't have under put it at the four edges of each of your room and drop one one garlic in the in your windows in the room that you sleep by god's grace those evil forces coming to feed you will not be able to assess that your life and your home let alone coming to feed you again because every spirit visiting you actually visit you through the window so if they're coming to feed you they're coming through the window so with that garlic presence of garlic and if you have strength you can you sprinkle also salt in that your window it will block them off from entering and you will see that you have stopped eh? eating above all in all these things prayer 
prayer is that your whole trust in God, what God cannot do, does not exist. That even if spiritual work fails you and you are constantly praying, God instead will send his angels to come and defend you, to come and fight for you. And if you're a Christian, make it a point of habit to always cover yourself with blood of Jesus. Anytime you start experiencing these evil eyes on you, cover yourself with blood. I cover myself with blood of Jesus. I cover myself with blood of Jesus. Cover my spirit so I'm going to blood of Jesus. Going out, I cover blood of Jesus. Cover my bed, blood of Jesus. Cover my home, blood of Jesus. And don't joke with these four Psalms. I made that video before. Psalm 91, Psalm 46, Psalm 35, and Psalm 109. Once you're experiencing any of these that I mentioned, these four Psalms should be your companion. By God's grace, you will always be an overcomer. You will always win. And every evil eyes on you will be blinded and be destroyed. And you continue living a victorious. Again, if you suddenly wake up, come out to your house or your office or your business place and see any dead animal like dead dog in front of the door, dead chicken, dead a kind of... Um, bed once you see such thing call one or two people to also witness what you have seen and do like this anti-clockwise that whatsoever is the intention of this person back to the sender that whosoever that is put this thing they are sending whatever that is intention back to that person then when you have done it get 11 pieces of clothes paper salt and do as you did it as i said in the previous one now and then burn it add you can add kerosene or whatever that will help to combust even you can even add camphor and so on and burn it declaring that whatsoever that is intention of this you are dismantling you are destroying as you are burning that this is how whosoever is the petrato is burnt down by god's grace you will hear news that, that person will come out and confess failure to confess whatever the person sees it sees the person say problem and they experience sorting hatred from people that normally love you before maybe family member it may be a spouse and they, these people you are in good tune with them suddenly they don't want to see you. before you call them they will give you money now when you call they refuse to give you somebody has actually casted evil spell it is not ordinary then you have to also get my crimson video and do it and pray that whosoever that is after your life that is blocking your blessings that god that you are sending those arrows back to the person when you finish please try and find a beggar and give arms you give, go and give arms to beggars maybe a blind person a crippled person a, any form of beggars you see just go and give them arms if you don't have beggars around you there must be motherless babies home even if you are living abroad you can send somebody to do it for you by god's grace giving those things to less privileged will also open that door that has been closed again and you begin to make headway those evil spells will become null and void so with this i've actually come to the end of today's video believing that somebody has actually found value if you're one of those why not give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload comment on this video share this video and share it to everyone i shall be helping a lot of people as to do so may god bless you honor you cause you to ride upon the high places of this esteem your lady jenny saying bye bye